Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Smash Up uh, expansion. Yeah, this is not, uh, this is still a regular thing. They just have it in Japanese because this is the Smash Up Big in Japan set. This is four uh, factions that are uh, based on Japanese things. So we have like Godzilla and the Kajus. We have some like Power Ranger themes, some Sailor Moon themes, and some Pokemon themes. That's not what they're called, but we'll jump into them. This also adds a new type of card to the game, which is really cool. Uh, but just a quick explanation, like we do in all the rest of the videos. Uh, if you haven't played this before, Smash Up, you take two groups, two decks, you smash them up together to make the Iggy, Critter, Mega Troopers. And then you play, um, you play your minions and your actions. Uh, ooh, that's actually cool. They added a setup in there, which they haven't had before. Um, but you play minions and act minions and action cards on the bases to score bases, uh, which get you VP. Um, then you score that VP, you get 15, you win the game. So the new cards are Titans, which we'll look over those in just a second. You're gonna get some victory points, which are gonna have some hearts or like a crying face on them. Uh, and like all the other games, you can buy the expansion and you can play it just by itself as a two player game. Or definitely um, buy more expansions, mix and match. You're just not forced to buy the base game. So our four factions this time are the Power Ranger themed Mega Troopers, the Sailor Moonish Magic Girls, the Godzilla themed Kaiju, and the 80 Critters, which are your Pokemon. Um, the other thing you're going to get in the games are going to be. I'm just going to look at this one. You're going to get uh, dividers, uh, which are they come in every set after a certain point. They started coming in every set, but they're also available in the big box sets. Uh, but yeah, in your card will sit right in front of it. You know, so you stick them in the decks. But if you buy one of the storage boxes, they'll have them. So the other new thing are Titans, which are on the backs of these dividers as well. Um, so anytime they add Titans in now, they're just going to be on the back of a divider. Um, which is cool, and I kind of don't like it at the same time. Because, like, I have all my cards sorted out. So I have all my dividers, but now it's like, oh, I need to take out this one set to play. Oh, I got to pull the divider. Now I don't have a divider between my cards, and they're going to fall into each other. Or I got to leave a bunch, try and leave a gap in between them. Um, luckily, I got, a, I personally got around it because I had an extra set of dividers from buying these sets, plus you get one with the big box set, so I just added two dividers in there. Um, but it's also neat because they're big cards. So, we'll look at those when we get there. I'm just going to read quick in the book here on how Titans work, because they are a different type of card. So, each faction of these four have the Titans. So, like I've said in other videos where they introduced a new element um, like Madness or Power Counters um, in the Monster Set is if you're playing, at least the first time you play these, I have each person at least take one of these decks just so that everyone gets fair and gets a Titan. Um, there are later sets or ways to get other Titan cards. That way you can play other sets with Titans as well. Um... But it might seem a little unfair if one person takes the Kaiju and has, uh, you know, Gorga Gazola and nobody else has that extra card. But then again, sometimes you don't have to actually play with them. Um, so they start in a separate deck uh, off to the side. Titan may be played on base when the card, when a card, including the Titan itself, says you can play them. So they all have different effects uh, to get in there. But Titan is optional, but if a card lets you play a Titan, it must be done immediately or not at all. Um, so instead of your regular minion play, it means instead of your normal minion, you are allowed to play uh, Titans. Instead of a normal minion, you are allowed to play during your play phase. Titan are not cards, or do not count as extra cards. If you play a Titan, even if you control it, you do not own it. Uh, so basically, they... You can play them if a spe specific thing says you can play them. Um, and they go on to a base and they'll do something there. But they don't work for other effects uh, that don't kind of reference them. 
Um, you may not play a Titan if you already control a Titan in play. After you move a Titan to a base that already has a Titan, one of them must be re removed. Um, two controllers compare their total cost power at the base, resolving the abilities, though not their talents. Um, one with the lesser total removes the Titan. Uh, the earlier Titan wins the tie. So if you move your Titan to another base and there's already one there, whoever has the least amount of power has to get rid of their Titan. Um, but you're not affected by abilities that target minions or actions, um, but abilities that affect cards can can get rid of them. Um, Titans also play if the base leave play if the base you leave is scored or removed for whatever reason. If it is, you just set it aside and you're allowed to come back. Uh, some have power and then they work basically like any other ability. Uh, so it's kind of a brief introduction of them. Uh, so as long as we were looking at the kaiju, let's just jump in and look at the kaiju. Ooh. One moment here. Alright, so the kaiju are going to be interesting for a couple reasons. Uh, so here we have our first main. We only got one copy of this. This is Johnny. Uh, so you may return one action, uh, you may return one of your actions on a base to your hand and play it there as an extra action. Return it, play it a second time. We have one copy of Tiny Princesses. Uh, play or move Gorgagazola to here. So this is only effective if you're going to use that Titan. That's the Titan. Um, otherwise, this card just does for three. So I think why they only included one of it. That way, if you're not using the Titan rule, because maybe other players don't have one, it's not going to be too bad. And then we have a third minion called Kaija Uki, which is um, poking fire uh, Godzuki, which is a Godzilla child, uh, or baby Godzilla. Ongoing. This means it's plus one power for each of your actions played on this base. So the more actions, the bigger he'll get. Now, what makes this difference? Those are your only three minions. Um, all the rest of your cards are actions. So we're going to get two copies of the Kaiju Alliance. Reduce the break point of all bases by four till the end of turn. Got him fighting like a Power Ranger looking guy. They say he's got to go. Move a Titan to another base. So this set really... This Kaiju you almost have to play as a Titan. Otherwise it's not going to work. Um, so here we have... There goes Tokyo. If Gorgagodzola is in play. Destroy its base and all other cards on it. Move Gorgagodzola to another base. And replace all the destroyed, ba destroyed base normally. Two copies of... The Kaiju Conflict. Uh, play two extra actions. We have two copies of Pick Up a Bus. Choose an action in your discard pile that can be played on a base. Place it, play it into your hand. Um, and then now what makes this deck even more unique. So there's our regular, we have three minions, bunch of actions. Then we have a bunch of special actions which actually have power on them. So the Folly of Men. Play on a base. Your minions and actions here cannot be destroyed by other players. You gain two power here. So this is going to give you two power just for playing this base. So um, like the other games you're planning to play minions. If this one wants to play actions, um, you have power. So it's actually a little bit different. So we have, oh no. Uh, it's a, oh no, it's Gorzilla. It's Gorgagazilla. Gazola. Play on base. Player move Gorgagazilla here. Ongoing, you gain plus two power. So I like that they do mention it down here, even though it has a symbol up there. Just to keep, just to the way action works. So we have way to the buildings. Play on base. Destroy all other players' actions on this base. And then you gain four power. Tail smash. Play a base, destroy a minion you don't control here of three or less power. Ongoing, you gain four power here. And then we got three copies of Radioactive Breath. Dis 
playing a base, destroy all minions you don't control here of two or less power. Ongoing, you gain three power here. And then we have two copies of Stomp. Uh, playing a base, use its break point by three until the end of your turn. Ongoing, you gain plus two power here. And then we're going to have our two locations. We have Tokyo. Uh, after you play an action on this base, you gain three power until the end of turn. And Kaiju Island. Titans here do not make other Titans leave. Each Titan here adds three power to its controller's power here. And then we have our Titan, Gorgagazola. Uh, special. Instead of your regular minion pool. Instead of a regular minion play, you may play this card onto a base where you have two or more actions. You have to play a bunch of actions, and you can play him instead. His ongoing, after you play an action or a minion on a base, place a plus one power counter on this card. So then you can keep making him bigger and bigger. And ongoing, after you play an action on this base, you may draw a card. So you play actions to kind of summon him. Then when you summon, you can make him more powerful and draw cards so you can keep playing more cards uh so it's that yeah, very interesting all right what do we got next let's look at our uh 80 our 80 critters which are our pokemon representation so we're gonna have um one of these leafaroos you may shuffle a card from your discard pile into your deck. We have Calicoin. Uh, you may play a plus one power counter on another minion here. Krakatoad. You may choose another minion here to gain plus two power till the end of, end of turn. Shellshock. You may destroy another minion here of two power or less. Floof Fairy, you may draw a card. Tadpore, you may move another minion from here to another base. So we have a bunch of two cost minions that do a bunch of different effects. Then we're going to get three copies of our Critter Coach. Oh, it's a Cthulhu in the back. You may search your deck for a minion of two power or less and play it here as an extra minion. If you control it at the end of the turn, place it at the bottom of your deck. Uh, so that's kind of neat. You summon it, basically play it for free, do its effect, and then it goes away. So it's like a one turn. And then finally we have the Critter Champion. Talent, search your deck for a minion of two power or less, play it here as an extra minion. If you control it at the end of your turn, place it on the bottom of your deck. So you basically summon them, they do an attack, and they go away. So we're going to have, I select you instead of I choose you. Search your deck for a minion of power of three or less. Play as an extra minion. If you control it at the end of your turn, place it on the bottom of your deck. So it's all about coming in and then they go back in. So we have evolution. Two copies of that. Choose one of your minions. Destroy it to either play Rainbow uh, Rainbow Rock there, or search your deck for a minion of power of one or more power and play it there as an extra minion. So Robo Rock is going to be, or sorry, Rainbow Rock is going to be the uh, Titan for this set. But like the, this one, like the Kaiju one, you have to play him. That's the only way you have to play as Gorgagazilla. He's your character. This one, so far, it's optional. Uh, we have a Critter Cube. Choose a minion and play with a power of three or less, owned by any player. Shuffle it into your deck. Uh, and so that's where you get this stuff where it says if you own it. Or if you control it at the end of your turn, place it on the bottom of your deck. Um, so if you control your cards, um, you can place it on the bottom of your deck. So you can basically steal other players' cards and then keep reusing them. Because they'll still own them, but you'll get a steal. And we have Idipedia, like the Pokedex, placed on a base. Ongoing. After you play a main here, it gains plus one power till the end of turn. We have Recall Critter. Play a minion of two power or less from your discard pile as an extra minion. If you control it at the end of your turn, Place it on the bottom of your deck. 
Gotta dig them all. Uh, shuffle one of each minion with a different name from your discard pile into your deck. Coach combat. Choose one of your minions. Destroy a minion with a lower power at its base. And finally we have super effective. Destroy an action on a minion or a base. That's definitely a thing. Like you play them guys. You just search your deck for creatures. You just play them. And then they go away, but they go back into your deck. But if you can steal other players' creatures, um, you can keep them. So this might work really good with the kitty, uh, the kitty set. Uh, so here we have Critter Combat Club. Um, you may play an extra minion power of two or less on your turn. If you control it at the end of your turn, place it on the bottom of your deck. And we have Iggy City. At the first time you play a minion here each turn, you may shuffle a random minion from your discard pile into your deck. Alright, and then our 80 Critters Titan is going to be Rain, Rain Borok uh, Special. After you win a base while this card is not in play, you may play it on the base that replaces it. So that's how it comes out. Um, after the first Time each turn you play a minion here of two power or less, place a plus one power counter on this card. So therefore, it can gain power that way. It has a special talent. Uh, shuffle a minion with two power or less from your discard pile into your deck. If you do, you may move this card to another base. So it forces it onto one base, but then you can use the thing to shuffle a guy and you can move him somewhere else. Um, definitely an interesting themed deck. Um, I like stealing other players' car uh, cards. It's kind of neat. Um, now we're going to look at the Sailor Moon set, the Magical Girls. So we're going to start off with Black Magic Hat, which we get one copy of. Search your deck and our discard pile for Lunar Captain, um, which is not your Titan. That's just one of your character cards. And place it into your hand. Um... Otherwise, we're going to get the other half of this card. You know, the combined picture. We're going to get the white magical, which says search your deck, anger, discard, product for power made, and play it into your hand. So they're going to search for their, their owners, essentially. Two copies of Rainbow Girl. Your other minions here gain plus one power till the end of turn. Uh, which is like Chibi Sailor Moon. Uh, this is supposed to be, um, oh, crap, I should know their names. So it's the two cats from Sailor Moon, who are Luna, which is the black one, and, oh, what's the name of the white one? I can't remember. I should remember, but I don't. Um... And we have Fancy Sue Lag, which is Tuxedo Mask. Ongoing, other minions here are not affected by players' cards. Then we have our Power Maid, which is one of the ones we can summon. Uh, so these are represent various different Sailor Scouts-ish, but I don't think they're specific to each one. Just kind of like Magical Girls from different animes as well. Choose a minion with a power less than or equal to the number of your minions here, and move it to or from here. We have the Bewitching Gal. Uh, reduce the break point of this base by the number of your minions here until the end of turn. So they kind of gain together to do some stuff. We have the Techno Magical Lass. Uh, Destroy a minion you don't control here with a power less than equal to the number of your minions here. So they kind of gang up and they do some damage. We have the Sakura Warrior. Um, so, which is not, uh, so for people who know, it's not a reference to the Sakura necessary from Naruto. Uh, it has to do with being like a handmaiden and the cherry blossoms. Um, not specifically that character. Uh, talent. Reduce a minion's power here by the number of minions here until the start of your next turn. And then finally we have our Lunar Captain, which is our Sailor Moon. 
Uh, choose a minion in your discard pile with power less than or equal to the number of your minions here. And place it into your hand. So these guys are all about summoning each other uh, to form a team. We have a silver shard. Um, all players shuffle all minions in their discard piles into their decks. Uh, cornet attack. Destroy a minion you don't control with power less than equal to the number of minions at the same base. The Magical Staff, playing a minion, ongoing. This minion gains plus one power. While this minion goes to the discard pile, place it on the top of your deck instead. Now, Purge the Demon. Choose a card, destroy it in action on it, or remove all counters on it. Ooh, that's the first card we've seen that removes counters, like straight up. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool. We have Coordination, two copies of that. Either playing extra minion or walking castle. So walking castle is your titan. So this one, like the itty bitty ones, you're not forced to play your titan. Which I like. I don't like the the Godzilla one. It kind of makes sense. The Gorga Godzilla. Uh, the Kaiju. It's actually Godzilla. He only makes sense as a giant ass monster. But like, I don't like the idea of every... If they would have forced you to have to play these. Because again, like I said at the beginning... Um, Making people have to play where one person has one and one doesn't would kind of be unfair. Uh, Lunar Healing Love Spell. Choose a minion in each player's discard pile and place it into that owner's hand. Kiss the Sky Spell. Uh, place a minion from your discard pile into your hand. You may play an extra action this turn. And we got... Two copies of Celestial Teleport. Move one of your minions to another base. These guys are all about just ganging up on a base and then destroying whatever evil force is there. So we're going to get Akibara High, a uh, school in Japan. After you play a minion here, your other minions gain plus one power till the end of turn. And Q point. Um, first base scores, each player destroys all of their minions and actions on this for this base scores, each player destroys all of their minions and actions on this base, but one card in total. I'm not sure what Polar Bears and the Artist has to do with Q Point. I'm not sure what that's a reference to exactly. But the effect is actually really cool. So at the end, you're only going to be... Whatever your most powerful card is, is going to score. Alright, so then we have our Magical Girls. Let's look at our Walking Castle Titan. Um, alright, so, special. Instead of your regular minion play, you may play this card on a base where you have at least two minions. Um, then it says, ongoing, this is supposed to be a reference to Howl's Mo Moving Castle, if you're not familiar. Ongoing, your minions here cannot be destroyed by other players' abilities. And talent, move this titan and up to three of your minions to another base. So you get a plan where you already have a bunch, and then he gets to uh, protect all of them. Well, you get to move them around and systematically destroy evil. Uh, I like it. Why do I want to say the other cat's name is Salem? But that's not right. Salem's from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Um, yeah, it's just not coming to me. Alright, so finally up we have the Mega Troopers, which are our Power Ranger type cards. So we're going to get four copies of Beta 6, which is a play on Alpha 5, uh, it says, which is I, 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 and this one says Oi, Oi, Oi. Uh, and then the guy in the background is supposed to be, looks kind of like he's supposed to be a Zordon. No, uh, it's a special. Before this base. Before this base scores, this minion gains plus one power till the end of turn. Uh, then we're going to get a bunch of our different troopers. We're going to have the green trooper. Uh, he's going to have a, looks like a chameleon bot. Before this base scores, you may play an extra minion there till the, as an extra, you may play this minion there as an extra minion. We have the pink trooper, which has a bunny rabbit. Um, after this base scores, return one of your minions here 
of three power or less to your hand instead of the discard pile. The Black Trooper, which has a Panga Bear. Ongoing, after a special ability is used, this minion, after a special ability is used, this minion gains plus one power till the end of turn. So you guys like to use special abilities. And then we have the Blue Trooper, which has uh, a type of fish, a catfish it looks like. Uh, special, before this base scores, this minion gains plus two power till the end of turn. So these guys look like they're all about the base scoring. Um, plus, we're also getting different uh, troopers for each color instead of one. So here we have, looks like a possibly an armadillo, maybe. Uh, before this base scores, you may move one, move another one of your minions to here. And then our final trooper is the red one, which has a um. Armadillo. So these are all desert creatures, I believe, is what the idea is. Uh, except for the catfish, a little odd, but they're kind of more like Australian type rangers or troopers. Uh, so play talent. Move one mega. Play or move mega bot to here. So this one kind of works uh, like the kaiju and stuff. Where it's, so if you don't have the mega trooper, the card's kind of wasted. But I don't think you're even. But you're kind of going to be forced to use them. Um, Alright, so these are different troopers. Let's look at our cards. We have the Blitzing Sword Attack. Special, before a base scores, when you have a Titan, if you are not winning there, destroy a minion with four power or less. So it's like fighting in the back and it's fighting a guy with a costume. Kind of funny. We have Form Megabot. Two copies of that. Um, player move Megabot to a base where you have at least two minions. So yeah, Kaiju, you're forced to use him. He's your main thing. This one, you're going to use him because he's a focal point. The other two are kind of iffy if you want to. So it's kind of interesting. I also love the fact, as a node to like the Megazord, is that each part is on there. You can actually clearly see Catfish, Polar Bear, Armadillo. Um, I like that they actually incorporated them, and it's really neat. So here we have... It's blitzing time, so he gets two cards. He's showing him going from like a ranch hand to his full trooper form. One of your minions gains three power till the end of turn. We have lightning rescue. So these fighting guys are supposed to be like an evil silver trooper um, and some like putty clay monsters. Just like he's using a boom or a uh, slingshot. Before a base scores, playing action as a special action. There's lots of stuff about before bases score. So they kind of come in and take over at the end. We have power pose. Special after a base scores. Where you are the winner, draw two cards. Lightning crystals. Destroying action on a base or a minion. Um, the mega attack. This is where they combine all their weapons together. Destroy a minion with a power less than or told less than the total power of a minion's at its base. And the final one is going to be plan for more. So you like your Zordon guy, your different uh your different uh troopers. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw any minions you reveal. You may play one of them as an extra minion, return the rest in any order. So it's also kind of neat is you're not forced to play the um, Megabot, but there's like three cards that require it. So if you don't play it, those couple of cards aren't going to be effective or useful. So we have the Moon Dumpster, which is reference to Power Rangers and uh, the dumpster that they read a repulsion on the moon. After this base is played, each player reveals a top card of their deck. If he's a minion, they may play it. There is an extra minion. And then the Juice Bar... Which is a reference to the hangout the Power Rangers do, which is Ernie's Juice Bar. Um, also reference is the big fat guy here. It's supposed to kind of be like Ernie. He's a bigger, uh, the guy that runs the bar. The other two guys are the fatter guy back here with the ponytail and the skinny guy with the bandana. It's supposed to be bulking skull representations. I like the little details of that. 
For farthest space scores, each player with a minion here gains plus two power for each special ability they use before scoring. All right, and then let's look at our Mega Trooper. So he has a big giant sword, and he says special. Instead of your regular minion play, you may play this card on a base where you have at least three minions. Ongoing, you have plus one power here for each of your minions here. And special, before another base scores, you may move this titan there. So all these guys have the ability to gain extra power uh, different ways. Um, and then they can, and he can move around. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's uh, interesting. Lots of scoring base stuff. Uh, last minute thing might work well with like the ninjas. Or they have lots of like switching effects. Um, so not showing it off in this video. But uh, they also made this Titan Smash Up pack. Which is going to add 16 more Titan cards. Uh for other sets and it says require smash up based game to play it just says that because um these are just titan cards so you can't actually make a deck out of this but there'll be another video for this but in case you're buying this and you're like i'm not sure if i should buy this or only four titans what's the point they have you can buy this from the store it was originally a promo set and they're now releasing as a pack which will add 16 titans the only thing is and watch the video to see what groups they're going to it covers a couple characters from all the previous sets. Um, so therefore, if you're going to buy them, you're not going to necessarily get like all five from the base set or eight from the base set. There's a couple from each different set. So it's going to spread it around. So if you only own one or two expansions, this may or may not work for you. So check out that video to see which ones they are. Um, so that is the Big in Japan. So if you really like the Japanese theme, you like the idea of the Titans. These are really fun sets. Um, check you guys later. Bye.